introducing our Max Forge Corona Pro Cut Bypass Pruner made from heavy duty steel that is fire heated and hammer forged to form an exceptionally strong tool. Its advanced blade technology and high performance coating reduce cutting effort by 25% when compared to titanium coated or non-coated blades. The dual arc blade can easily be resharpened or replaced and we carefully hand match it to the special narrow profile hook to ensure close and clean cuts on branches, stems, and limbs up to one inch in diameter. The no-fail handle has a high carbon steel core with a contoured soft grip for ultimate comfort. While staying true to a simple time-tested design, the Corona Pro Cut Bypass Pruner incorporates convenient features such as a shock absorbing integrated bumper, an internal spring to prevent loss or clogging, and a sap groove that removes debris for smooth cutting action. Insist on Corona, the tool of choice for hardworking professionals and homeowners. Outwork, outperform, outlast, season after season. Since the 1920s, born in California, we have a long history of creating lasting performance tools for professionals and gardeners. It started with one tool that revolutionized an industry nearly a century ago. With that brilliant innovation of the single orange clipper, the citrus industry became known as the second gold rush. Since then, generations have relied on our high-quality, performance tools to work as hard as they do. Corona's groundbreaking innovation, superb engineering, and craftsmanship has made us the trusted American brand we are today. Industries may change, but our commitment stays the same. We are the leader in hand tools for agriculture, gardening, landscape, irrigation, professional tree care, and everything in between. No other tool manufacturer offers Corona's extensive selection of quality hand tools to get the job done. Why are Gardena cutting tools so reliable and long-lasting? Why are they so comfortable to use? Because Gardena tools' quality and perfect form are constructed by people who love gardening themselves and who know just what our customers want. Because their innovative ideas are put into practice with the best materials and the most up-to-date production techniques. Because we make high-quality materials even harder and even better. Because we strive for perfection in the production phase. Only our best blades go on for further processing. Because we constantly test our blades for precision. Coat them using the most modern methods, thus permanently improving them for easier cutting. Because our precision blades are mounted with the greatest accuracy. And ultimately, because our employees have a trained eye and an intuitive feeling for each of our products. This is how perfect cutting tools are created, produced and tested for many years of tough garden use. They resist blistering sunlight. In tests, our high-quality plastics have to withstand the intensity of three years of Australian sunshine. They are left out in the cold, defying temperature shocks from minus 10 to plus 60 degrees Celsius. They are constantly in use. Training in the laboratory for a marathon 7,500 meters lawn edging. They are tireless, enduring tests in which the handles are opened and closed 50,000 times and 5,000 cuts in hard, dry beech wood. For the sake of your joints, they absorb the hard impact of 2,000 lifts and then still have to be able to take a fall or two without complaint. Because this is the use for which our cutting tools have been developed and produced winning prizes time and again with a 25-year guarantee so that you can enjoy them for years to come. So when you visit any botanical garden around the country, like right here at the Ulbricht Botanical Gardens in Madison, Wisconsin, 
you notice how beautiful everything looks. Well, I have a secret for you. A lot of that is because of all the pruning that they do. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people I know are actually sort of afraid to prune. I call it prunophobia. They think that they're actually going to damage or hurt their plants, and they're probably not. In fact, the general rule of thumb is only take away a third at a time, and you're probably going to be just fine. Now, there are a number of reasons why you should prune. First of all, to increase the overall health and look of the plant. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get in there and you look around, you're going to find some branches that are probably crossing, but you don't want that because as those branches cross, they're going to rub the bark off and expose it to potential pests and diseases. So go ahead and find where those branches meet the trunk and cut out at least one of them. The next thing you want to look for are dead or dying branches. You certainly don't need to promote that or leave that around. Now, one of the obvious reasons to prune is to control the size and shape of the shrubs within your landscape so that they're all in balance. But here's something I want you to keep in mind, because whenever you make a cut, you're going to stimulate new growth. So be mindful of that whenever you decide on which one you're going to cut. So now that we know why we should prune and what we should cut back, the question is, when do we do that? Well, for general maintenance, such as taking out that dead or diseased wood or those crossing branches, do that any time of year because that's perfectly fine. But for the serious pruning, you know, when we're trying to control the overall shape and size of our plant or stimulate new growth, the best time to do that is in the winter months when the plants are dormant. The next best time is early spring to early summer. But we want to try to avoid making those serious cuts as we move into fall because as you've already learned, when we make those cuts, we stimulate new growth and we don't want that tender new growth to be exposed to cold temperatures because that can open up the tree bark to pests and diseases, which we're trying to avoid. Well, I hope I've given you enough information to go out there and try pruning yourself. You're probably not going to hurt a thing. You're going to be surprised at how well your plants respond, and you're going to learn a whole lot in the process.